everyone, it's Natalie here. I work for Primal Leaf here on the marketing team, as some of you may know, but also on the sign, I'm a yoga instructor. I'm my 200 hour power yoga certification, and today we're gonna be going through a little flow. So join along with me, please. We'll begin in child's pose. Meet me at the back of your mat. Bring your big toes to touch. Spread your knees out wide. Walk your fingertips towards the front of the mat and drop your forehead down to the mat. Take a few breaths here. As you inhale, I want you to fill up your rib cage. Hold it at the top for one more sip and then open mouth, exhale, let everything go. On your next inhale, shift your weight up towards tabletop, stacking your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over top of your knees. Take a few cat cows here, drop your belly down towards the ground, bring your gaze up to the sky. And as you exhale, cat pose, round, your spine, tuck your hips under, take a few of those on your own, do what feels best for your body. Think about you. What is it that you want to accomplish today, tomorrow, in your lifespan? And then meet me in neutral spine. I want you to tuck your toes under Shoot your hips up and back for downward facing dog. Now, some of you may feel a little tight in your hamstrings like me. Go ahead and walk your legs, pedal out them left and right. And then bring your gaze in between your knees. Take a deep inhale and look forward. Exhale, step to the front of your mat for a ragdoll pose. Allow your torso to just hang heavy here. Give yourself a generous or micro bend in your knees if your hamstrings are tight. Options to grab for opposite elbows and sway left and right. Give me a few head shakes, yes, no. And then when you're ready, bring your hands down to the mat, heel toe your feet to touch and slowly rise up using your core one vertebrae at a time to rise. Let your head be the last to rise. Inhale, mountain pose, reach your arms up and over your head, really firm down through your, through your toes. Squeeze your core and relax your shoulders down away from your ears. Take one more deep breath in. And as you exhale forward, fold, hinge at your hips. Take a deep breath in, halfway lift, iron out your spine here. And exhale, chaturanga nadasana. Take your high plank to low plank, and as you inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg up to the sky, square your hips here. And as you exhale, step your foot through, taking low lunge. Take an inhale, bring your right arm up to the sky, really reach, 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 reach. Take a deep exhale. On your next inhale, I want you to use your power to shoot up bringing your torso up. You can bring your hand to the bottom of your low back. Think about opening your heart here. Twist your shoulders really to the side. On your next inhale, take Exalted Warrior. Bring your right arm up to the sky. Just gently place your left hand on your left leg. And then one more deep breath in, taking Warrior Two. Eyes open. Sink into that front leg. Gaze is in between your finger. And as you exhale, take Chaturanga Nadasana. Shift your weight forward. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Same thing through this time. Inhale, bring your left leg up to the sky. As you Take your next breath, low lunge. Step your left foot through and inhale your left, left arm up to the sky. And as you exhale, use your power. Stand up tall, squaring off your shoulders. Shine your heart forward, let me see it. On your next inhale, exalted warrior. Left arm goes up to the sky, right arm comes down to your right leg. One more deep breath in, taking warrior two. Shine open, spin to the side gaze over top of your left arm. One more deep breath in. And 
exhale, chaturanga nadasana, cartwheel your hands, maybe kick one leg up, taking a handstand hop, whatever feels best to you. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift your weight forward, drop down, taking tabletop pose. So, you can go ahead and walk through that a few more times on both sides. Um, I like to do that two or three times on both sides. I'm out of breath clearly, as you can see, but my favorite pose, maybe it's some of your favorite pose too. Go ahead, take Shavasana when you're ready for it. I love our lavender complexion mist, and I'm not just saying that because I work for the company. I really do truly love it. It really helps deepen and calm me, so I don't know why I just put that down, but I'm going to go ahead and take my Shavasana. I hope everyone has a great rest of your day. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste, everyone.